All right, guys, welcome back to Thanks Adventures. Quick video today. I just want to talk about two very important accessories, add ons. I think should probably be one of the first things you get on the Africa Twin, especially if you plan on doing some touring trips, stuff like that. The two things are the Puge Touring Windscreen. That's my preference. I think it's the best one on the market. You can check out other ones, but I think it's the best one. And the uh, Fork Tunnel uh, Block or a fork tunnel wind guard, whatever you want to call it. Two pretty essential pieces. First up, we have the Puge Touring Windscreen. It's a taller windscreen and actually comes with some brackets right here that, uh, well, these are the stock back brackets, but it comes with brackets for right here that actually will bring it up even taller if you're taller than me. Um, I look over the top of this one, so it's perfect height as is, but it will rise if you're a little taller. But what I like about this one it's hard to tell on camera, but uh, it actually has air channels here. So the wind hits it and is diverted to the side. It's not just a straight up windscreen like a lot of the other ones. Um, and I, I think it works extremely well. I get zero buffeting. I can cruise for hours on the interstate. I'm not getting you know any fatigue from the wind. So huge thing to think about windscreen. The next major piece is the Fork tunnel deflector, um, wind deflector. Super, super important. The second you take this bike down the interstate without it, you'll feel a lot of wind coming directly up here. Causes buffeting around your helmet. Um, this diverts the air through here, through these little channels. Um, and it's super cheap. I think it's like 20 bucks for this piece. Um, but it makes a world of difference as far as buffeting goes, um, wind flow. Like I mentioned, super short video, just two very important pieces that I think you should at least check out if you have an Africa Twin. If you're having buffeting issues, um, concerns for touring, I definitely recommend you check it out. But just all in all, um, for everyday riding, I think it's a pretty important piece of gear to have. I set this bike up to commute and also be able to go touring, do some camping on. So I think these are essential for that, depending on what your use is, of course, um, if you're going heavy enduro, extreme off-road, which it's not a dirt bike, let's be real, then maybe you don't want the tall windscreen, but I think if you purchase an adventure bike, you're looking for adventure, you're looking for camping, you're gonna get out there, um, and the touring windscreen's perfect. I do go off-road, the height of the windscreen does not bother me. Um, it's never been an issue, so check it out, and if you do, if you have it, let me know what you think.